working on them guitar chords. Hello. Uh, this is going to be a an interesting one with Maiden guitars in front of ye old Maiden wall. We've got a Messiah 808 with a cutaway. We have a Messiah Dread with a cutaway. How do I know they're the Messiahs? Because they say them right on the fingerboard. I'm not sure if this little camera can get in there and see this. I don't think we've done a video on, on comparing these two, so it's fun to have them both in the shop. 808 obviously is a very well-known signature size for the Maiden guitars. These happen to be probably more um, easier to explain, I'll put it that way, to a North American audience because they feature woods that we've, as North Americans, have more commonly played. Uh, Sitka spruce tops, East Indian rosewood backs and sides, not typical for what Maiden does these days um, in their... Uh, the the Nashville series in Tommy's guitar in the uh, the the cedar guitars that you've seen me play. These are um, probably a lot more in line with what somebody who's coming from a Martin or a Taylor or a, one of those brands would be familiar with. <clears throat> Want me to shut up? I'm happy to. Um, you guys have been sending in lots of really great comments about stuff, so I'll try to play some things that maybe you would play on them. Um, that was a tune that is pretty easily recognizable and it's lots of open chords so I'll play that for you on both guitars you can listen and I'll play some finger stuff as well <clears throat> I don't know why I clear my throat before I don't sing does that make any sense ready <laughs> off with a dread strumming <laughs>
lot of depth to this instrument. That's why I just kind of kept going because it, it it keeps me going. Um, as you guys like to keep going with your comments and your questions and your requests, we are happy to honor them. We get lots of really great comments. Um, we get lots of really weird comments, which I totally don't mind at all. If you're feeling the need to express yourself, please do so. We get a kick out of it. Whether we let other people read them or not, that's up to us. But some of them are pretty spectacular. Um, you're not necessarily the most creative, but you are vocal about it, and we appreciate it. Um, in a dread, I definitely hear, I think what I'm expecting to hear uh, from a, uh, you know, if I'm picking up a dreadnought, <clears throat> I want that. I want that really robust strumming. I also want it to to get a little smaller if I, if I play with my fingers or something. I'm getting that from this guitar. I hope the microphones are picking that up. Um, from the 808, it's much more what I'm used to from Maiden. It's that particular sound. So it's interesting uh, in the same model, their Messiah in the 808 and also our Dread, just to get a sense of what each of them can do. So if you're um, maybe already on a smaller instrument looking for something a little bigger, this could be it. You could, I hope you could hear it in the microphones, what I was hearing, the really rich, warm, uh, full frequency spectrum of a dread. Uh, the 808 is a little more focused as typically with their, the, the Maiden, um, we think of them maybe as finger style instruments. Let us know what you think. If you uh, want to get in touch, you know how to. I hope if you don't, uh, there's plenty of contact information on the, the YouTube page or if you're watching on Instagram, follow us and, and uh, ask questions and, and send your best uh, most well thought out critiques and requests and questions. Can't tell you how much we appreciate it. We really dig it. And um, if you have questions about how we're recording things or what we're doing or if you have tips on how to do them better, I can't wait to hear about it. I'm going to go out on something uh, that is I've already played today, but it just seems like something that would work well on a big old instrument like this. Good day. I'm sorry. I always say that with maiden videos. It's stupid. I don't make any apologies. I guess I did, but whatever. I'm Canadian.